Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here, and welcome back to another video for Bleeding Edge. And today, I can finally bring you some crisp new gameplay. If you guys have seen any of the Bleeding Edge videos up until now, you'll know that I've either had to use B-roll, which is super short segments of gameplay that I've had to kind of intercut, or I've had to film something over the shoulder. But finally, I went to XO19 in London today, had a chance to go hands-on, and not only was there a brand new character called Cass, who is a damage character, one of the DPS ones, glass cannon kind of character, we also just got to record, so we played as a whole screen. Squad, myself, 269, Paradise Central, and Vestmore. I had a chance to record two of the four stations, so I will intercut two different playstyles, two different kind of perspectives throughout this video. But first, I want to talk about the brand new character because up until this point, we've of course seen the 10 characters they've shown, but in this new build, they had a character called Cass. Cass is in the damage category, bringing the total up to five within damage, and she's definitely a glass cannon, right? She doesn't have a great deal of health. She has some great damage potential, and she's also rather interesting because normally the characters in Bleeding Edge, they typically fall within one of two categories. You either have, say, like your melee focused characters who are predominantly up in your face, or you have the range characters. But she is actually really interesting because she has kind of a blend of both. She has her, you know, regular ability, which can attack from range, slightly lower damage, and she also has one of her special moves on instant recharge, which effectively acts as a melee combo. So she's a really interesting character. She has these rather interesting mechanical chicken legs, and and uh, there's actually a really kind of unique thing for her as well is that she, when she's running, she doesn't have a hoverboard like other characters. When she runs, she just picks up speed, so eventually she just starts breezing across the battlefield. So that's kind of a kind of a useful thing. You can also charge that up for like an increased jump, so you can do like a mega jump to jump over obstacles. She's actually very cool. Now, I will say I'm not typically one of the best people at glass cannon playstyles, but once I kind of found my feet, I already started to kind of pull this together. So to quickly go over the abilities, just for those of you guys that are curious, her basic ability is Feather Darts. So you can hold this down or you can press it and it throws a volley of darts at the enemy. This is of course what you use to attack from range. You can obviously evade, you can jump, you can charge your jump, and of course you have your momentum passive, which again is what you can use to quickly get across the battlefield. On the special front, you have Swoop, which of course allows you to dash through enemies in a line dealing damage, and you have two of these charged so you can dash consecutively, so it's a very good way to reposition, to kind of home in on an enemy that's trying to run away, and just in general, it is a very agile move. You then have Rake, which is a powerful five hit melee combo, and this is the one that has an instant cooldown, so you can basically spam this as your melee attack, so when you get up close, you'll be using this. Meanwhile, when you're fighting from afar, you'll be using your Feather Dots. And you also then have Hightail, which allows you to leap backwards away from your target. This is basically your get out of jail free card because you don't have as much health, because you are a glass cannon, this is how you want to get away. Pair Hightail with Swoop, and you can really kind of, you know, get out of danger incredibly quickly. On the super front, you have Dive Bomb, my personal favorite, where you can jump out of sight and you then plummet out the sky, stunning nearby enemies. So especially if you land this, say, on one of their healers or their support classes, you stun them, you then go into the rake combo and you just destroy the enemy. Alternatively, you have Blade Dance, which allows you to spin around throwing daggers out in a direction for quite a while, but this one is pretty easy to kind of CC. If somebody freezes you or locks you down, it obviously cancels them. So that is, broadly speaking, how Cass works. Again, very much a get in, deal damage, get out before someone hits you. You don't really want to be, you know, you're not a tank. You don't want to be getting up in people's faces and kind of getting slapped around. As you'll see at the beginning of the gameplay, kind of started off a little bit rough and then I started to find my feet. But either way, she is a very cool new addition. So, for the time being, I'm gonna let you guys watch some of this gameplay. Honestly, I am, I've been speaking about this game for quite a bit, and it is one of those games that right now does seem to have sort of, you know, mixed reception from different people. And I think it's one of those things that the second you get to go hands on, honestly, it's so incredibly fun, right? I keep talking about this game because I have so much fun every time I play it. I've played it at various different events so far. I played it at E3, I played it at Gamescom, I've played it now at XO19. Every time, it is just so incredibly fun to play. The characters are really cool, the stages are cool, the whole teamwork, especially if you have a team of people playing together and you communicate and you really kind of get those tactics down. I have had a ton of fun playing this game and it's something that I'm super looking forward to. So, um, you know, when it does eventually, of course, launch and we do get a chance to, you know, go hands on with it and start kind of producing more videos for it. Believe me, I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot of content for Bleeding Edge. I want to do like character guides and loads of things like that. So, yeah, it's a game I'm excited about. If you're unsure, then obviously, you know, stick around, check out some gameplay, see what, uh, see what it has to offer. And of course, if you have any questions, by all means, drop them down below. But enough rambling, I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this. It's a pretty cool match, pretty close match. So uh, hopefully you enjoy. This is me, thank you. This will give you a hot foot. I'm gone. Mm. 
way. Come home, love. The fountain of youth pours from the giant. We are not objective B. Their base is our failure. Closer, closer. We shot you with a hot spot. One up! Get in there! A box on you! Ready to bubble my toil and trouble! I toy with you. Never enough. Darkness strikes in the shadows! How do we stop this from stealing Objective B? Toil and trouble. No worries, guys. Surely we knew we would get Objective B. Your effectiveness is a... The skies are mine! This is me thanking you. I toy with you. I think this one is broken. My thanks are profuse. Welcome home, love. Capture 
These guys are mine! Elegance and Adam. Gotcha, little birdie. Tweet, tweet. The fountain of youth pours from you, giant. This cannot break. Ah, objective. And who are you? Dreams. This is me thanking you. Oh, they must be so mad right now. <laughs> Bad guys have A. <laughs> Objective A has been claimed. I toy with you. My thanks are profuse. and Adam. Nice. I toy with you. Magic? I hope. she belongs to us. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.